and fill up our kids' little plastic kitty swimming pools and have a big grape stomping party and invite people over. And we'd stomp, we'd drink wine from the previous years, stomp on the grapes and everybody happy. <laughs> and uh, it was, it was a lot of fun. Dude, you were possibly the most interesting, awesome person on this planet. I don't know how we haven't met before this. You were seriously the coolest guy I've ever interviewed. <laughs> it's, uh, but it is fun. It's fun to, to actually get into stuff and, and see, because really you can have a wine making party where you stomp on the grapes and uh, turn it into wine. You have, because when people, you, obviously you have to sanitize people's feet, which you make it fun because you make a little foot bath right in front of the pool. Everybody takes off their, not their clothes. This is not the elephant dance. <laughs> they they <laughs> shoes and their socks and they just step into the, the foot bath. And then from there, step into the, the grapes and they've got their glass and, you know, you're stomping around and drinking wine. And I mean, everybody remembers that first generation internet video of the woman that's mashing grapes and she falls out head over heels and like it went viral. <laughs> that was like the first generation. That was like the original <laughs> gif. <laughs> I yeah, mean, no, that's this, fucking awesome. Yeah. So it's, it's fun. And, and then I love spirits. I, um, cause I remember I, I traveled down to, uh, uh, Jalisco, Me Jalisco, Mexico, uh, to the, the town of tequila and did some research on tequilas and that that's kind of cool the way they make tequila mm -hmm. to Ireland to the um, uh, distilleries over there um, Scotland uh, to the distilleries there so so it's when you see how they make spirits it's a lot of fun and then you taste it and you talk to the, the distiller and it's like wow that's and they tell you what they're trying to do with each each type of spirit. It's like wow, and you taste it, and it's like, I like that, and you and then you, you appreciate it more, and it's a lot, a lot of fun. Just like, you know, if if you're uh, uh, smoking a joint, you go to the grow house and you talk to the growers about that specific clone that they've grown, and what are the flavor aspects they're trying to really emphasize in that variety, uh, whether it's. Uh, Girl Scout cookies or, or, or whatever you talk about, they'll tell you which terpenes that they are trying to emphasize in that strain. And they'll tell you how they grew it and everything. And then after they talk to you, you go home and you, you smoke it and you say, wow, I can taste all those flavors. And then, then you appreciate it that much more. It's, it's a lot of fun. Man, that is, I mean, and you're right. You know, it is kind of, it's, I guess you're probably one of those people that likes to crack things open and see how they work you know where at, and sometimes like i don't know if i can comprehend like when someone tells me uh, the notes that i'm looking for in a glass of wine or you know this has real rich flavor and you know like dark berries or something like that then i feel like sometimes i i get the notes that i'm told rather than i can find on my own but i love you know if you can dig down deeper into the source you're able to kind of create your own you know palette you know you find exactly what flavors you're looking for and what they were looking for when they were growing it that's that's really neat i like that idea what yeah, would you say is your favorite i'm sorry would you say tequila is your jam no i, I would say i would say wine is, is it over anything yeah because spirits are great but at the end of the day you can only have so many shots <laughs> it's, whereas wine you know you have a, gla a glass of a really nice chardonnay and then a, maybe a sauvignon blanc and then uh, move on to some reds and have a couple reds and uh and really enjoy the flavors that are in those wines and, and yeah there's there's wine experts that say oh this one is filled with this and that and it's like you taste it it's like no it's not <laughs> i don't taste that at all but but that's the nice part is to me, those are all just suggestions. It's like, okay, they, they're suggesting those are there. If you taste them, fine. If not, fine. Because from my perspective, all of us are different. And if we find a wine that we like, we don't have to justify it and say, oh, because it's got this and that. It's like, I like it. And that's, that's, that's good enough. It's like, it's none of, none of anybody's business why I like it. I like it. <laughs> exactly. Like we had um, a master sommelier, Brian McClintock. He, uh, he joined us on the podcast one time and I was like, you know, like without putting to shame a $10 bottle of wine, he was like, no, fuck that. If you like $10 bottles of wine, 
drink $10 bottle, you know, that bottle of wine. He's like, it doesn't matter what you taste out of it. If you enjoy it, then drink it. Like, don't let some asshole in some Netflix film, like, and he was in that film. He was like, don't let us tell you what to enjoy. Enjoy what you like. And so that's- Exactly. Kind of- yeah, because I, I, I love nice wines, but at the same time, I, I also love black box shark. <laughs> I was about to say that, but I was embarrassed. No, I, I could drink the heck out of black box Chardonnay, chill it down, serve it by the glass. Man, I, I on a hot summer evening, I'm there. I'll drink it. <laughs> I love you. I, seriously, I can't wait to hang out. We got to put these computers down and meet for a cocktail soon. For sure. <laughs> Anytime. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, before we let you go, we have two questions we want to ask. Um, these questions are oftentimes prefaced with an ad read, but today our ad read is check out Seria Brewery. These guys find them online, go to their website, go to Weed Maps. You will be able to find them in most chain dispensaries. Check it out. They have a Belgian white that's got a five milligrams of THC in it. You drink it like a nice blue moon vibed beer, but instead of that, uh, that beer buzz, you're going with that can of buzz. And if you want a little bit more pow, then why don't you try the 10 milligram IPA that they have on stock in stock as well. Obviously again, check it out. Weed maps will always give you a guide. You can search by product or you can go check them out at your local dispensaries and website. So that was my ad read. This is our first question. Stone de petite question of the week. Let's say you worked hard. You went out after work with the wifey. Y'all had some drinks ha- and you get home. What is that guilty pleasure late night snack that you just have to eat? For satisfaction before you call it an evening. I hate to say it, but I keep a bag of Cheetos on hand. <laughs> is it okay? Is it what flavor and puffy or crunch? Crunchy, crunchy original Cheetos. Those it's like I can't get enough of those. Those <laughs> they, they go, it's like you you eat one, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, the bag's half empty, your fingers are orange, <laughs> your mouth is orange, and it's like, what the heck? I can't hide it. <laughs> It's also on like the side of like your pants because you just put your hand up for one second. You're like, damn it. Maybe on a couch cushion. Shit. Oh, but they taste so good. <laughs> it's kind of like the Pringles. You can't just have our, won't you, no, that's once you pop, you can't stop. It was Lay's. I bet you can't just eat one. Yeah. Cheetos are in the same camp. All chips maybe, but I like that. That's a good guilty question. All right, so here's our last question. And I feel like you're going to be pretty good at this one. I feel like we're going to get some really good answers. It's called The Last Supper. Tomorrow you die, but tonight you get dinner. Three people, dead or alive, but they cannot be friends or family. Who are they going to be? And what are we having for supper? And if you need to think about it, I can cut out the little dead time. No, that's fine. I, <laughs> the first, uh, uh, I guess the three people uh, would be, I guess one uh, would probably be um, Marilyn Monroe. Nice. What life was like. And it's like, how did you really die? <laughs> and then the uh, second one would probably be Albert Einstein. Cause it's like, I've, I heard he was kind of a party animal. Plus it's like, it's like, dude, you married your cousin. W- what's up with that? <laughs> There's a lot of questions that are going on in that one right there. But yeah. at the same time, you, I mean, there's going to be a nice little diplomacy conversation as well. You'll have JFK's lover, the scientist that helped develop the A-bomb, um, or hydrogen then, bomb, whatever. Then the last one is probably Martin Luther King, because he, nice. he is a guy who I really respect because everything he did was about peace and, and love. You know, he was, he was a, a, a preacher, a, a minister. And so everything he did... He, he didn't, he was like BLM, uh, BLM that had just been on a dab rig because instead of out marching and, and you know, um, uh, not violently, but, but you know, protest, kind of protesting and stuff, he, he did that, but it was in a peaceful mode to the point where if the police sick the dogs on him or sprayed him with hoses, it's like he, he let it happen and it's like got right back up and kept marching and he was all about doing things peacefully and he was really good at changing laws and, and getting people to accept the fact that, you know, his, his movement was all about peace. It wasn't about violence or anything. 
And so, so, so those are the three I would have. And as far as food, probably have lots of onion rings because I like onion rings. Probably, oh, lots of, lots of meat. I'm a meat eater. <laughs> I, like, I like steak. <laughs> so steak, onion rings, and probably for dessert, a good, uh, oh gosh, for dessert, chocolate, dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, anything. Okay. Okay. I like it. That's a hearty meal. I love how you led with, man, I fuck with onion rings. That was a great answer. Be like, we're going to have a lot of onion rings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you, are you a homemaker? I guess, do you cook as well? Cause I feel like you probably dabble in a, a lot of these little culinary arts. Well, I, I, um, I cook in the brew house. That's my, that's my cook. Yeah. Okay. That's my fair. My, my wife, She's, she's a, a, a civil engineer, but she, when we lived in Belgium, she couldn't work because she didn't have a, a, a work visa. So she learned how to cook over there. So she uh, went to the different schools and learned how to cook. So she's actually a really good cook. And so she'll come up with all kinds of cool things. And it's like, yo, I'll say, I'll take, I'll take that and that. Maybe a couple onion rings. <laughs> that's yeah, that's fantastic. I love it. I love it. Well, that was a great interview, man. I Keith, I can't thank you enough. Should I call you Doctor Villa? No, 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 no. I I don't go by titles. It's like we're out west here. It's like in, in Europe and east coast of the United States. People go. They love titles. You have titles and 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 it's like, hey, we're out west here. You know, out here, everybody's everybody's equal. It's like. I don't go by titles. <laughs> <laughs> well, Keith, I really do appreciate you joining us uh, to talk not only about your history, but also craft beer, can of beer, and, you know, your new venture, Seria Brewing. Um, for our listeners at home, if they wanted to follow you personally or your company on Instagram or Facebook, what are, what are the means to find y'all on social media or learn more about y'all's products? Seria Brewing. So uh, we're on Instagram, Facebook, um, we have a website, seriabrewing.com. Uh, that one goes directly to the uh, cannabis site. If you don't want to see the cannabis site, then you type in na.seriabrewing.com. And that takes you to the non-infused site. So, so yeah, our Instagram, Facebook, um, got our website. Um, yeah, or just, just go to your favorite uh, dispensary. And, you know, hang out there and talk to the bud tenders. Uh, we, in fact, we just had a training today uh, for uh, Terrapin Care Station. Yeah. Nice. yeah, so the guys there are just fantastic. Um, yeah, so go to your local uh, dispensary and, and, you know, ask, ask for us, uh, ask for Saria, um, whether it's just to, to try us out for the first time or maybe you're one of our, our fans that, that uh, we're, we're your regular go-to product. But, uh, yeah, visit your local dispensary. Uh, keep them in business because, you know, they're, they're uh, uh, business people like anybody else and they're selling uh, great products. Uh, Colorado is one of those few states that where it's legal. So take advantage of that <laughs> and have fun with it. Responsibly. Responsibly. <laughs> responsibly. Everything we said is alleged and responsibly. Always. We, yeah. we, all, we, we book in that. I should just tell people that on the front end. Um, but Keith, we do appreciate it. Thanks again for joining us. Um, until next time, we want to tell our listeners, stay hungry, stay thirsty. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs> Keith, I really do appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks, Kip. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. A lot Dude, of fun. I mean, I had a blast. You're, you're a, a whole, I want to read your book, but at the same time, I just want to sit down and buy you dinner and pick your brain. <laughs> Hey, let's, yeah, sometime we're going to have to, well, Jeff, our, our uh, PR guy, Jeff Blumenfeld, he's a great guy. He, he uh -huh. did a fantastic job. He always does. And uh, but yeah, that, that'd be fun sitting down and have uh, dinner with some good wine, followed up by a good cocktail. Yep. And it's uh, good times. <laughs> Hell yeah. And on National Wine Day is today, no less. So I hope you have a great afternoon and a great evening. Enjoy a glass. And I don't know if I have your contact information because I did everything through Jeff. But I'll shoot you a message and let's get sure. up for real. I owe you a beer and a cocktail. That sounds good. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. Enjoy that full moon tonight. Or it's a lunar eclipse full moon. Hey, it's perfect evening to grill and chill if, I, if you had to ask me. That is exactly it. <laughs> yeah. Well, have a great afternoon, brother. Cheers. Cheers, Kip. You take care. I'm going to come get some of your beer. I want to taste this stuff. If I come, around, If I start drinking beer again because of you, 
I will make sure to give you all the credit. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Bye, Kip. Take care. Yeah.